One, two, three, fourteen millimeter bolt. And this is the motor mount here in the front of the car, seventeen millimeter bolt. I'm gonna leave it just right there. Nineteen millimeter lug nut. Two 10 millimeter bolts, one and two here for this plastic cover. 19 millimeter nut here for the motor mount here. All right, after removing the nut right there and the motor mount, I'm ready here with the bottle jack as you can see. Right there, piece of wood and the oil pan. Jack it up a little bit and keep watching here. Make sure the engine takes off from here. Sometimes it's very hard for the engine to take off from here because it gets stuck here. When the engine tries to take off here, so sometimes it goes either to the rear or either to the front and uh, it gets this crook here. So it's very hard for the engine to take off sometimes. You better throw some penetrating oil if you want to. Also got it wash on the front. All right, the engine is taking off from here very easily with no problem. And I'm gonna go in the front of the vehicle to see if it's uh, the same is happening. Yep, yeah, everything is going good in the, in the front of the car too. All right, I'm gonna leave it right there for now and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna take another look to see how everything looks on top of the engine too. All right, everything is going good on all sides. So I'm gonna lift it up a little bit more If you can see the engine uh, came out of the start completely on the motor mount right there. 17 millimeter nut here. And now I'm gonna be putting it back here and uh, this is the same one. So the purpose was on how to take it out and how to install it back, but this is the same one. Alright, and before continuing here, this is the torque specification for all of these motor mounts here, as you can see them. And there is a lot of extra here too, just in case if you need the torque specification for some of the components, maybe you're lucky and you can see them here. Again, 17 millimeter nut. And that is the bolt right there for the motor mount in the front of the car. I never took it out completely. I left part of it in the in the bracket. I'm gonna get some help with the with the impact gun before I talk a specification. Very slow, because I don't want to tighten it completely with the impact gun. That is not good. You gotta use torque specification. Right there. And this is the torque specification for this motor mount I'm doing right now. This one on top of the engine. Alright, you don't have to take out this bracket. I took it out only because I wanted to do something else, but at the end, I decided not to. Alright, and this is how to replace this motor mount. 
Thanks for watching this video and God bless you all.